I joined the Trust about, probably about 25 years ago now, coming up. Um, I first started working in residential care, where I spent uh, probably 15 years in residential. And then I, I moved on then to supported living. It was kind of like the, seemed like the, the, the next step for me was to start supporting people out in the community. I support a guy um, by the name of Glenn who lives in his own council flat. I started supporting Glenn probably about four years ago and he was being diagnosed with uh, complex OCD syndrome. And uh, we come in and to do simple tasks in the home for Glenn, um, we do his laundry, um, we prepare food for him and generally have a clean up around his, his flat for him. And this then enables Glenn to be able to get out, really to participate in his activities that he likes and set goals and to achieve his goals. I think the qualities that people need to be a, a support worker. I think, um, for one, you need to have a, a, a good sense of humour. Um, I think, you, you, yeah, it's, it's a whole mixed bag of, of skills, I think, um, because every day can be different. Some days are really challenging, other days can be just standard days. Um, but there's always, always, you know, you come across something different um, and you, you just have to adapt and, and be adaptable um, and have a whole range of skills, I think. Through the Trust, I've got qualifications in um, exercise studies, levels one, two and three. I've got um, health and nutrition um, in levels one, two and three. And I've also uh, completed uh, a diploma in health and nutrition. I really enjoy, even to this day, you know, 25 years down, I still, I, I really enjoy what I do and I really enjoy the people I work with.